Let me through! Let me through! So I've taken the um, back, like the sensor off of the lens. I've got this rubber, I don't know, it's used to get um, cans open or like jar tops off and stuff. Basically it's just a piece of rubber. I have it wrapped around the threads of the lens and I'm gonna use it and I'm with a pair of needle, no needle nose pliers. Um, attached to the lens and I'm going to try to twist this off. I did apply, apply a little heat as well to the lens with a hair dryer just before doing this. Seems to be coming off now. I'll just show you the mistake I made in the first place. Uh, I had actually unscrewed like the lens, the front of the lens. I've got the original lens. This is the new, I think it's a 25 uh, millimeter lens without the IR blocker. You can see the pinkness there. Thanks to, uh, I think his username is Brain Exploder on YouTube. Said to purchase some of these um, IR uh, filters or blockers, and I'm going to try to put that in the lens. I wonder if that will fit. Oh, it fits right in there. And I should be able to screw this back in. Oh. I'm gonna try to put some glue on these, one of these filters, these IR filters. Went with the E600 adhesive. Q-tip is snap an end off it. I glued the an IR filter inside there. So the idea <clears throat> today is uh, I'm gonna try to put this Mobius camera with the five centimeter extension cable, which I can link in the description below. Uh, the upgraded, uh, I think it's a 25 millimeter lens. I'm gonna try to put it in this old peck box, which just unscrews there and then I just kind of pry it apart. I obviously have to drill some kind of hole in the top for the uh, on off record button. And yeah I'm gonna also uh, drill a hole here hopefully for the right size of the lens. It seems just about right actually. All right wish me luck. I'm gonna try to do just drill a hole up in here to make that um, so I can put a twist tie or something through it to keep it shut. Give me a little 
bigger. Thinking I'll run the zip tie down through here. Or a twist tie, something that could be reused maybe better. definitely paint that or use a black but this way I can the case will stay together like so and then it's just the single screw in the front that should keep it shut okay it definitely fits in so that's what the inside of it looks like right there. That's the that's where I want the camera to come out of. Don't mind the crotch. pieces in here. I'm not sure if they're required or not. Might have to drill them out too. So I've decided to try to drill from the inside out. This feels really dangerous. <laughs> I'm not real comfortable holding that, so I'm going to try using maybe some of these. Ouch! There's my hole. Might be able to glue this piece back on. File that out or something. Yes, this should look cool. <clears throat> so I'm trying to get this through here, but eh, eh, she won't fit. Not quite round, as you can see. It's the oddest looking hole I've ever seen. Let me through! Let me through! Alright, I think it's time for a file. So I'm hoping this job mate file set will help me out a dremel would come in handy right now but i don't have one She poked right through. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of pointed outward, so I need to file that little peg right there off so that this piece can fit in there better and keep the camera not going out that way, but straight or even inwards more. Right there's not too bad. Just have to figure out how to keep everything stable inside. So I've glued this piece back on with super glue.
This is a review of what I've ended up with basically. I put a twist tie through my hole here to keep the back end of the camera shut, also making it removable so that you can actually open it up from the back. The front screw just unscrews. And I put a very small uh, nut and bolt, I guess it's a screw and bolt, and I just filed it down a little bit to make it look less like a screw. A little bit less like a screw. And that's my button that activates the, the uh, camera's on off slash record ability. And so this is what the inside of the camera looks like now. So the um, nut and bolt or screw or whatever just is right there and when I push down on it, it moves it just enough to push the uh, power on record button. And I basically just kept the camera in place with two sided sticky tape. And I did the same thing for the lens. And this is going to take some time, but I also um, I drilled two small holes on either side of the lens and then ran a zip tie through it to really hold it in place. And then it, yeah, it just all goes back together and I'll show you the final product. So that's the Mobius on the left with the zoom lens looking at my cat Charles. Zoomed right in. And my dog Scout. You can see the Mobius is on the right zoomed in on that light. I uh, just wanted to thank everyone for watching my YouTube channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I know this was a boring video, but uh, hopefully it will help with some of the future gameplay footage. Again, thanks for watching.